I'm Michael Strassmeyer. I'm in the Capstone A course at Washington State University. I'll be pitching three new product ideas for my discussion 2.1 assignment. My first idea is the mom and pop shop. This is a store franchise that is tailored for elderly citizens. The vision of the mom and pop shop is to provide a social place where elderly people gather and help each other. It's a place where clients gather, shop, and discuss life challenges and things that they may have in common. Stores will include a pharmacy, small dining area, groceries, clothing, and other products targeted specifically for the elderly shopper. These stores will be modeled after the New Seasons market chain in Oregon and the PCC markets in Washington State. Stores will also host seminars and product demonstrations and of course they'll be targeted for the senior community. Many do not realize that we are faced with an aging population problem in the United States as the baby boomer generation is moving past the 65 year mark. Persons 65 years or older numbered 44.7 million in 2013 and made up about 14 percent of the U.S. population. This is about one in every seven Americans. This is expected to grow to 18% by 2030 and to nearly 22% of the population by 2040. By 2060, there will be about 98 million Americans in the United States over the age of 65. This is more than twice the number that we had in 2013. Because of lower birth rates and the fact that many of the younger family members are geographically separated from their parents, their traditional support network is limited and not sustainable as a, as a support mechanism for the aging population. No franchise of this type exists today. Support of the elderly population is an emerging need. The demographic shift in the population make this a long-term growth opportunity. I also view this idea as providing dignity and happiness to elders by enabling their self-support. My second idea is the Quickie Convenient Car Cleaner. This is a convenient car wash and detailing service. Many busy people simply do not have the time to clean and detail their car. Even right now my car is filthy and I'm traveling on business with my peers from Portland to Seattle on Monday and to be honest it's quite embarrassing. It is inconvenient for most people to drop off and pick up a car from a car wash establishment or, or an automobile detailer. An opportunity exists for someone to have their car cleaned and detailed while they're at work or involved in an activity of a couple hours or more. In this new business concept, a car wash and detailing company will operate in a partnership with a business or an employer. They will service cars while their clients are occupied with work or at play activities. This will make much better use of their time. The company or business that hosts Quickie Convenient Car Cleaner will receive a portion of the sales. The customer schedules an online appointment and will have a special parking spot to drop off and pick up their vehicle. This may be at their place of work, it may be at the movie theater, could be at a shopping mall, or even if they went out for a, 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 a late night dinner. The host company may perform the service on site or may shuttle the vehicle to a nearby service center. This really becomes a win-win-win-win scenario. The employer wins as a provider of a great benefit to their employees. The business wins as they offer a great benefit to their customers and will probably draw even more customers. The Quickie Car Wash wins as having an efficient model for washing cars. And the service offers a huge benefit to the end customer and even offers the customer a preferred parking spot. I'm not aware of this type of auto detailing service in business today. From my personal experience, I know how difficult it is to try and drop off my car and pick it up and as I have it serviced. And I also find, a, find it difficult to, to carve out time to do it myself. So I think there is an endless business opportunity for this idea. 
My final idea, or idea three, is the use of reusable plastic shipping cartons. This will reduce environmental waste and it will also reduce shipping and packing material costs. This idea encompasses switching from cardboard boxes and disposable shipping materials to reusable durable plastic containers that have RFID or radio frequency identification tracking devices installed within the container. Containers are automatically returned to the origin after the product has been shipped and all this tracking is done through RFID. The shipping materials are also returned inside the container instead of being sent to a landfill, which further reduces waste and the environmental impact. This service applies to enterprise level shipping customers that use mainstream shipping vendors such as DHL, FedEx, UPS and the Postal Service on a frequent basis or when shippers pick up and drop off at a, on a scheduled basis at a certain location. The reduction of waste materials also presents a huge corporate social uh, responsibility opportunity for corporations. Today, some companies provide plastic containers. What is new with this concept is that RFID-based shipping boxes that identify ownership of origin are not currently in the market. I do not believe that any of this is available anywhere. My vision is that the new shipping model will become the standard and the business opportunity is not only to manufacture the shipping containers, but also develop the tracking systems to monitor where the shipping containers are located as they're in transit. The semiconductor industry uses a similar shipping model for transporting silicon wafers between factories. The market opportunity is for all businesses, establishments, and establishments that have regular pickup and drop-off schedules with major shipping companies. A copy of my references is listed below.